Hi, it's Mr. Anderson and this is AP Physics Essentials video 113. It's on wave superposition. What does that mean? When waves interact with each other, they can either build each other up or tear each other down. And so let's watch this wave right here. We're sending two waves. These are transverse waves towards each other. And so what's going to happen when they meet? What's going to happen at that point where the slinkies are connected? Well, there will be superposition. They'll come together and we're gonna add the values that they had before. And so watch what happens when they come together. We get one giant wave. Now it's hard to watch that and figure out did the waves hit each other and bounce off or did they go through each other? So this one might help a little bit. We've now got a wave coming from the left that's on the top and from the right that's on the bottom. And so what's gonna happen here? Well, you've probably figured out that they'll cancel each other out. And so if you watch that point in the middle, it won't move up or down very much at all. But watch what happens to those waves after they hit. The one on the bottom continues to the left on the bottom and the one on the right continues uh, on the right. And so when waves interact, they don't bounce off each other, they will move right through each other. But as they move through each other, they will interfere with one another. And that interference can be constructive. In other words, when two waves come at each other, we build one giant wave. Or it can be destructive. In other words, they cancel each other out. But superposition is that idea that when they're together, we add those two values together. And we could do that through experimentation, or we can make sure that applies through experimentation. And so if we look at this, now we're adding a transverse wave from the left and a longitudinal wave from the right. And so watch what happens is that they move right through each other. And so if I take a picture of right when they're together, what we're doing is simply adding wave A plus wave B. It's very simple. It's almost like algebra as a way to think about what happens to the waves. And so if we have two waves that are in phase like this, and so let's add numbers to it. Let's say this wave here is one centimeter above equilibrium, and this is one centimeter above equilibrium. Then what's going to be the constructive wave of those two together? Well, it's simply going to be, let's add them up, it's going to be two centimeters above. Or right here it's at zero, at here it's zero, so here it's also going to be zero. Now we can also have destructive interference and that's when it cancels each other out. So let's look at that. This one let's say is at one centimeter. This one right here is at negative one centimeter. And so what is the destructive interference? It's at zero. In fact, it's at zero all the way across. Now sometimes we'll send waves back and forth and back and forth and we can create what's called a standing wave. And so the black wave that you're looking at right here is a standing wave. It appears not to be moving, it's just moving up and down. But now let's concentrate on the blue wave. What's the blue wave doing? It's moving to the right. You can see it's transferring its energy to the right. It's then reflecting back and now it's the red wave that's moving back to the left. And so we have the blue going to the right, we have the red going to the left, and what is that dark band or that standing wave? It's the summation, it's the superposition of both of those waves together. So I can just randomly stop this video video right here. And so why is it really tall here? Well, if you think about it, they both are around one centimeter off the top. And so this is going to be around two centimeters. Why is this one not moving at all? Well, this one's will say about a half a centimeter above, and this is negative a half a centimeter. And so this one's at zero. And so in fact, no matter where we go along the way, these areas right here, we will talk about this in a future video called nodes. It's total destructive interference where it's not moving at at all. And then if we look at these troughs right here, or these anti-nodes, rather, those are going to be areas where we have total constructive interference. It's coming together. And so did you learn to use representations of uh, constructive interference and then destructive interference? Could you come up with an experiment? The one I did was, let's launch uh, waves at each other and then video what's going on. And then you could, could you actually measure it? Could we measure how high is the displacement before that interaction and then during the interaction? I hope so, and I hope that was helpful.